Good morning, everyone. I am a part of the Governor's Prevention Partnership Youth Advisory Board and a youth peer advocate for Youth and Family Services of Haddam Killingworth. Nicotine pouches are quickly becoming a large issue for youth across America and especially as we see in CT. Packaged to look like a mint container, nicotine pouches like the ones from the brand Zinn are flooding the streets with their popular flavors. Parents might see the container in the children's room and not bat an eye because they look very similar to breath mints people carry around all the time, and they could even transfer them into a breath mint container, and no one would even know. When you look closer, you see the large, not really, this contains nicotine label, but that's not enough. Here in CT, teens have said it's, they think it's safer than vaping because they aren't inhaling vapor into their lungs. Teens also know they have no smell and can't be detected on the expensive vape detectors housed in many of our school bathrooms. Instead, they have a puffy lip where they put the pouch in between their gums and their lip. Teens are already seeing side effects. One teen told me they have an indent in their top lip where they consistently put their pouch. Some teens have said they don't use them because it gives them nausea and causes them to throw up due to the high concentration of nicotine all at once. A typical one millimeter vape contains 0.06 milligrams of nicotine per puff. This would be about 18 milligrams in the entire vape, which is about 300 puffs. One Zen nicotine pouch contains three to six milligrams per pouch, released over about a 30 minute period. Not only are they so heavily concentrated, but they also have a large array of flavors that appeal to teens. Zin specifically offer a reward system where you can earn expensive items like a Zin branded Yeti cooler and cup that you earn with the rewards that you sign up for. And people think these are free and especially teens, like free stuff is so appealing to them, but it's not free. Your, well, your life is paying for it, but you're also paying for these pouches and every single container you buy, you're never going to get those rewards until you buy so many of these pouches and now you're addicted. Um, nicotine pouches are very similar to chewing tobacco, which at the time people also thought was safer than smoking a cigarette. And history is known to repeat itself, but sometimes when it comes back, it comes back worse. We need to stop this craze before mayor damage is done.